So for today, we're going to be doing a Void 3.0 build. Uh, we're essentially going to be using Void inspired items or exotics or purple. Either way, if it has purple or I'm using an exotic, it's part of the 3.0 set. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I got this idea from Crips. Uh, he made a really good video about 3.0 sets. I'll have it in the description below because it's a really good video. And I'm a little sad because I'm actually a part of his uh, disc or yeah, I'm part of his discord but I was just so busy with other things that I couldn't really give my own video or my own sets. So I decided to just make a video on it. And honestly, I think everyone came out really good. I haven't seen anyone do this look, but again, I, have, I haven't been in Destiny 2 that much. I've been doing other things. So uh, with all that being said, let's just get right into the sets. And this is the Hunter. I went with a full on Royal hunter look like as in a royal archer i'm probably gonna call this like a royal sharpshooter uh in my instagram because you guys don't know these videos when i'm done with them i make them into my into like little pictures of instagram and i post it on my instagram so if you guys want to see some of the looks i've done in the past check out my instagram i again i'm i'm usually pretty good at posting stuff and if you're watching this when this comes out i should be posting the last week uh the user videos so yeah check that out but again for my look i went with an all like i have a bow in my back and arrows in my hip and for the exotic we're using the orpheus rigs with the calliopes or calliops calliope no it's calliope calliope's lullaby i think it looks amazing i've honestly i i'm a little surprised how good this all came out so for the helmet we are using the pathfinder's helm this is a really good helmet if you want to go for like a royal look uh there's other helmets as well like the way lauren's iron mask the only reason i don't like it it's a little too uh too european style and it's gonna clash with the arms which is the imperial cartographer get grips so the reason I went with these arms, which kind of don't make sense when you look at a bow like this, but uh, Japanese bowmen, they like traditional bowmen, they have one side that's just their arm and the other side has like their kimono and their like other stuff. I'll have a picture right now, but that's like the ins inspiration I had for the archer. And this is a look I've been trying to do for a few months now. And I think this came out really well. If this was like a, a bigger bow, I think this look would have been absolutely amazing. But I still wanted to have that feel of it because again, um, I think I think Japanese bowmen look really fucking cool. Uh, for the chest piece, we are using the Nimi and Cures. The only reason I'm using this chest piece is because of how perfectly the dip is here with the this little crest. I, I think it came out really good. I love how perfect it came out here. Uh, so yeah, that is literally the only reason why I'm using that chest piece. For the legs, again, we're using Orpheus rigs. Uh, I was deciding whether I wanted to use Orpheus or the uh, Graviton uh, forfeit. And honestly, I feel like a lot of people are just gonna immediately go towards Graf Graviton forfeit. N not saying it's bad, it's obviously a really good sh uh, helmet. It's just that I kind of wanted to do a little a, something else, obviously, and I th I'm really happy with this. And then for the cloak, you can actually, was it? Yeah, you can get this this week. So if you're watching this uh, before the, the next reset, you can actually pick this up on in the uh, Eververse store. And it looks, overall, I think this is probably one of the coolest sets I've done, just because everything fits really well. Uh, if I really wanted to go an extra mile, I would have done different shaders, but I'm not like, I'm not the biggest, like pusher of that. I think different shaders is cool, but like for me, I feel like different armor pieces is most, most important. And then shaders, I don't really care about that. Like that's like, that's cool. Definitely brownie points if you do it, but I'm not going to push people to do it, but different armor set or different armor pieces definitely i think two is like the only like the amount that i am like okay to give out and then if i see like armor sets that have three then i'm like uh, i don't know so hunters let me know what you guys think i think this came out really good uh next next up is gonna be the titans
and for the titan we have the no backup plans so the reason i'm using the no backup plans is because i've used pretty much every other void exotic a lot for my titan so mask of the quiet one i've used in multiple builds the uh doomfang pauldrons i use excessively like that's that's an exotic i use a lot and then for uh the helm of same 14 i've also used as well i've been used the ornament so i may do a look for that but i decided to go with the no backup plans because a i wanted to challenge myself because these are annoying to look to make a look with and b i'm actually really happy i did it because i think this armor set looks really cool i think it came out really really good so let's start off with the helmet the helmet is going to be the fine forged titan head ornament this is an ornament that you could have gotten in Warmind, and if you don't have this you can definitely use the the main one the pvp one my only concern is the fact that i want this this color from this chest piece to be more prevalent in the helmet which is why i went with the ornament because obviously there's more of the main color from this chest piece uh if you don't have either of those two which is fair considering those are really early destiny 2 uh helmets although i think the phoenix strife type o i think this one you can actually get from drops maybe but it was it's it was available for a few for a few seasons uh if you don't have that you can definitely use the devastation uh comp or Dev devastation protocol or complex i don't remember what it's called uh devastation complex you can definitely use this one the only reason i don't use this one is because obviously you see that the main color is different from the chest piece which is uh not what i wanted uh for the arms we're using again no backup plan i think this these arms are cool it's just the fact that these are very annoying to build around because the purple that you see right now changes in game to a little a darker purple like kind of like this maybe darker so at least last time i was trying like testing this out if that was the case speaking of chess piece we're using the eververse the desolation diver plate eververse armor set this was sold last week and i think this chess piece is cool i think it's really really cool um my only like real annoyance with it is the fact that the purple doesn't change color i do understand it's void themed but it's still annoying uh not much to say about the chest piece my only gripe with it is the fact that it's so small but even then i made a really cool set with it being small so i really can't knock it down for that uh for the boots we're using the ring walker greaves so the boots which it's a pretty funny story because the boots just came to me like i originally was thinking well since the since the chest piece is so small we'll we'll do something with with like really minimal plate so like something like this would have been cool but i just decided well, that's too much plate i want to at least have like maybe maybe the knees and down plate and then the thighs would be like cloth so then i was like well this one no not the same thing uh then i started going to the pure cloth ones like this one uh this one this one was almost done this one and uh this one was also used but i've used this one a lot and it doesn't really match with the set and even this one which is also one of my favorites but then i just i looked at these and i was like i don't know why i didn't pick this one this is perfect honestly this is perfect like it's the fact that there's this plate right here is just right there and then the stomach has cloth and it just seems like the cloth just keeps going with it i love it it looks amazing and then for the mark we're using the contender mark the reason i'm using this mark is because everything on on the titan that glows most of it is holograms so like the arms right here are holographic uh this is holographic and i was like well why would, why don't i use a mark that's like that as well just to really really hit that that uh theme and i think I think that was smart uh obviously there's other pieces that you could use specifically you can use moon fan x7 which i think is fucking great i love this mark uh where is the one i'm actually really really thinking of you can use that one i'm not a big fan of it uh very minimal marks is what you're going to want to be using right now uh specifically the uh this one right here the memory of Cade. this one is also a pretty good one just because of how minimal it is but I think the glow just helps a lot like helps it really establish that uh nothing on my titan is really there 
if you want to use another holographic one then you can use the light of a great prism this is also a good one and i would actually use this one i just eh, i don't know this one's cool looking i don't think it's as good as the contender one though so titans let me know what you guys think i love how this came out i think this came out really really fucking cool and next up is warlocks and then i'll give you my final thoughts and for the warlock this one is not going to be a surprise to a lot of people mostly because i've done this look already but i decided to use this one because this, this one is just so void so for the helmet we are using the celestine hood this one is one of my favorite helmets for the warlocks it just it looks really good especially with the glow uh for the for the gauntlets we're using the nothing manacles i love these manacles they look fucking amazing my only gripe with it is the fact that the actual exotic itself is kind of a uh, garbage the chest piece we are using is the elect of empty robes this is the eververse robes this this is one of my favorite robes in the game right now honestly like it's not even a it's not even a competition i'll like most of the other chest pieces i'm like pales in comparison to this uh, for the legs, we're using the virtuous boots. This is not a surprise. I, I use these boots way too much, but if you really want to use other pieces, there's oh, obviously you can use something like this, which I think looks better because there's no clipping and the glow's really good. If you don't mind using two pieces of the same thing, then I mean, go ham. Uh, I do most of the time. I still think this looks amazing. I probably will keep this look, but you can other you obviously do other pieces as well you can do this one right here which also looks pretty cool and this one actually looks really cool actually because i love the fact that the purple here cuts right at the knees and then becomes white i actually fuck with this yeah this is no never mind this is the look right here this looks super cool uh for the bond we have the virtuous bond this is like one of my favorite bonds in the game just because of how like ornamental it looks but again you can use like the forbidden visage you can use celestine bond you can use the contender bond you can use the street scholar bond which actually i think i'm gonna switch to that as well maybe uh you can use this one as well i think the solstice bond looks really cool with it and there's no gold in it as well so those that's brownie points for me because this one has has a uh, gold unfortunately uh there's a lot of purples you can use you can definitely use this this is from this chest piece that's why i'm not using it uh but you can use that you can use this one it has a white glow this has the off color for glows unfortunately and it's not even just that you can use other ones as well there's a lot of pieces that warlocks have like purple it's but like this one there's this one but that's eh, it's a blue purple but you can make it work personally i think you can make it work this one's a pretty good but that's a pink purple um this one looks really cool and this one should yeah that looks okay again this is this is pretty much my process i just kind of like do this and see what i like and what i don't like and i can tell you right now that most of these look really cool um so if I were to really, really decide which color I really wanted to have on my Titan, it'd probably be this one. I think this one looks really cool. Damn, that bond is meaty. Never mind. That's a fat fucking. That looks really cool. If there was a glow on that, that'd be even cooler. Like this one. I think the the color is just a little off. Uh, you can do this one as well. I think this one would actually be the best one personally. Like, yeah, let's do that. So yeah that's funny I, I love i love it when i change stuff on the fly but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below warlocks that was it i i love how it came out i unfortunately have done this look i think i've done this look on a previous video maybe um if i did i'll have it in the description below but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below i again i love all, all of these sets these sets came out so clutch the i don't i don't know which one's my favorite honestly i would want to say the hunter's my favorite just because of how thematic it looks to me but the titans like just look cool like if i would if i were to grade it it's like the hunter has like the best theme the titan just looks the coolest and the warlock just looks so majestic like like royalty maybe i don't know it's so hard um but yeah let me know what you guys think uh 
If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. I really enjoy making these videos. I might do a solar and an arc one just because of how cool this was. But yeah, be safe and I'll see you guys later.